Ben here, day three of C2E2. Today we're here with Chase, uh, and we're gonna be talking about why he's here, and we're gonna be talking about all this amazing artwork. So talk to us a little bit about this, what brings you to C2E2, and we'll get into this after that. <laughs> um, so what brings me to C2E2 is uh, I would do the, I did the Chicago uh, Wizard Con a couple years ago. Yes. Um, I did that for two or three years, and everybody started talking about C2E2. And so I was having fun at WizardCon, but um, timing always conflicted with Canadian shows. Yeah. I'm Canadian, so... I remember. Finally checked out C2E2 last year, and I had one table in the Artist Alley, and I felt like a little congested. So it was a great show, but I knew this year I needed to go a bit bigger, have a bit more room. Oh, yeah. Um, so I got myself a corner. Location's fantastic. Um, and yeah, it's been a great, great year. So like beyond all expectations, I've been having a lot of fun. Uh, where do you get your ideas from? Like, how did this all start? I see you like the kind of gear concept and the mechanical aspect of it. Um, I was trained as a graphic designer. Mm -hmm. uh, the dream was always to be a concept artist. So it's my favorite artwork to look at is, is concept art. And the coolest concept art I always thought was the robotic designs, yes. right? Uh, so that was, that's a big element to my inspiration. And so, um, yeah, I was always drawing robots, and then eventually I got into redesigning characters as robots. So I've got like the Gotham Gears and the, uh, the oh, yeah. Robotic Avengers, and those uh, went fairly viral online. Um, and then I got hired on as a concept artist, so I was working in video games for a while, and I was doing conventions on the side. Mm. And eventually conventions just kind of were taking up more and more of my time, and they're a lot more fun. Mm. So I do this full time, I now run my own studio out of Winnipeg, and okay. uh, yeah, self-publish my own graphic novels and travel the world. That, like, so, I mean, do people come up to you with ideas being like, hey, I want Full Metal Alchemist, I want Gundam, I want Samurai Jack, or do you, do you just do it? I used to listen to what people would, would recommend to me, yeah. um, but if I'm not a big fan of it, it turns out to be a hollow piece. So yeah. I only draw what I'm a big fan of. So everything that I have a piece of, I'm, I'm a big fan of the show or the game or the movie or the book or, yeah. So when it comes to the mechanical aspect of it, I, now I'm not too familiar with art. I like buying it, I like looking at it. I was under the impression you did it all by hand until I went onto your DeviantArt page, saw some of the sketches. Yeah. So is there, like how different is the process from doing it on the computer and how long does it take about? Well, nowadays we have great tablet technology. So I started with a smaller tablet and then now I'm working on a Cintiq. So it's a big screen that I draw directly onto. Um, so this entire process takes place in Adobe Illustrator, okay. and it's all done with uh, the Cintiq and the pen tool. Okay. So I am drawing, it's just uh, more gliding rather than pencil and paper. Makes yeah. sense. So do you have, like, is there one that you're more attached to, one of these drawings? Like, do you have I, a Well, I always like my newer stuff. So I just yeah. finished The Secret of Nim. This was a big movie for me growing up. I didn't really expect it to sell well. It's been my top seller this show, so everybody's been I'm noticing, excited about it. Like, you, you, make, you have a nice way of making things look badass, essentially. I see Harry Potter somewhere, and there he is. He's got the Patronus. Like, this is awesome. I, like, has anybody ever come up to you being like, yo, make the Teletubbies, make them look really <laughs> cool, anything like that? Uh, you know, I get a lot of random requests, and like I say, if I'm not a big fan of it, I usually don't jump on it, but mm. um, if yeah, I've had some good ideas thrown out to me by, by different people, and I've yeah thought, hey, yeah, that is a great idea. So, Chase, with everybody like wanting, because not everybody is lucky enough to be here right now, where can everybody find you? Where can everybody look at this artwork? Um, I'm really, really easy to find online. That whole graph design training branding is a big part of it, right? So yeah. everything I do is under Chasing Artwork. So a Google of that brings up all my social media and sites and stores, so incredibly easy to find online. Uh, everything I do is under Chasing Artworks. So. Perfect. Well, thanks for taking time out today to talk to us. I really man. appreciate it. Uh, make sure to check out his artwork. Ben from Dreamt Reality, C2E2 Day 3. Later, guys.